Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. High blood pressure is a common ailment throughout the world. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to serious health issues. These include heart failure, stroke, and kidney disease. Untreated hypertension can even cause death. Your doctor will always try to prescribe medications that lower your blood pressure before it reaches a dangerous level. The traditional approach to treating high blood pressure involves starting with one medication at a low dose. Doctors usually increase the dosage slowly if the patient's blood pressure refuses to come down. They may add another medication later as well. There has been debate around whether two low-dose medications are better than one high-dose medication for managing blood pressure. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new study on blood pressure medications and how one might benefit from it. This study focused on whether taking two medications is better than one. Let's talk about this study. The National Institute of Aging and Veterans Health Administration funded a study. The setting of the study was the Veterans Health Administration. The study began in 2011 and ended in 2013. It was a large-scale study carried out on veterans who were more than 65 years old. All of them had a systolic blood pressure of 130 or higher. Systolic blood pressure is the upper number in your blood pressure chart. It measures the force your heart exerts on the walls of your arteries each time it beats. 178,562 patients, largely male population, participated in this study, and all of them were on at least one blood pressure lowering drug but none of them were on the maximum dosage of their medication. The researchers divided the participants into two groups. One group had 74.5% of patients, and the second group had the remaining 25.5% of patients. The scientists gave the maximum dose of blood pressure med to the first group, and they added a low-dose new medication to the second group. So the majority of the participants began to take one pill at a higher dose, and the minority took two low-dose medications. The researchers measured everyone's systolic blood pressure after three months, and then again after 12 months. They noticed a slightly larger drop in the blood pressure readings of the group that took two medications. The study has shown that two blood pressure meds can be better than one in lowering your numbers. However, more research is needed on this to be conclusive. So why might adding a new medication be beneficial? Adding a new medication may reduce your blood pressure quicker. In addition, almost all blood pressure medications come with a host of side effects. Most side effects go away on their own, but some can stay longer and even cause severe complications. One way to lower side effects is to lower the dosage of medication. This is the benefit of taking two low-dose medications as opposed to one high-dose pill. The low-dose medications are more likely to produce lesser side effects. Doctors tend to look at the patient's long-term health while prescribing medications. And with hypertension, it's even more important to do so. This is because most high blood pressure medications go on for life. So, lowering the side effects could affect the quality of life in the long term. Let's talk about some limitations of adding a new medication. The participants of this study were seniors. This implies that many of them might already be taking other medications for other age-related conditions. Even outside this study, this is often the case. The older we get, the more chronic our conditions become. At one point, it might become difficult to manage taking multiple pills. This is true especially if the pill count is up to 7 or 8 or even 10 pills a day. Most elderly would prefer to reduce their number of pills rather than add one more. Consequently, it could be difficult to convince them to take an extra pill for their high blood pressure. That would be especially true if they've already been on just one pill for years and have been somewhat managing their blood pressure. Forcing them to take an extra pill may cause them to stop taking any of the pills. This is something doctors have to evaluate before they recommend an additional medication. A hypertension patient should take one high-dose pill every day rather than stop taking pills altogether. In summary, doctors often prescribe one pill a day to manage high blood pressure, but the medications often have side effects. 
taking two low-dose medications instead of one high-dose medication could be beneficial. The discussed study results show that two pills also lower blood pressure faster than one pill. However, as we age, it can be a challenge to remember to take additional medications. In such cases, it's better to take one pill than not to take any pills. Doctors should evaluate their patient's willingness to take additional pills before switching them to a two-pill regimen. Meanwhile, scientists may start to look at more studies to understand the benefits of taking two low-dose medications instead of one high-dose medication. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.